Good morning and welcome to Morning Prayer for Monday 14th of August 2023. This service is part of the online prayer ministry of Christ Church Cathedral Newcastle. I'm the Dean of Newcastle, Catherine Bowyer. I acknowledge that this service is being recorded on the unceded sovereign lands of the Awabakal and Warramai peoples. Christ Church Cathedral stands on those lands and St Peter's Hamilton on the lands, the unceded sovereign lands of the Awabakal peoples. I pay my respects to Elders past and present, to any First Nations people who are joining in this service today. I, with the parish and the diocese, am committed to Makarata, the work of reconciliation. Acknowledging and repenting of sins of past and present, seeking always to listen with humility to the wisdom of the Elders, to learn from them to walk gently upon this sacred land and to seek for justice that all may share in caring for God's creation. Monday morning prayer is found on page 390 of the prayer book. Today the church gives thanks for the martyrs of the 20th century, including people like Maximilian Kolbe and Oscar Romero. If you have a lectionary, you can see more of the people that are remembered on this day. But we remember all those who persecuted for their faith throughout the 20th century when we had here in these lands the freedom to live, to express our faith. We give thanks for their courage and their witness and their faithfulness to God. Our psalms this morning are Psalms 108 and a portion of Psalm 109. If you don't have the ePray app, this might be a good time to download it. It's free from the App Store on your device because our section from Psalm 109 this morning comes from um, part of the psalm, not the start of the psalm. Our reading is from the Acts of the Apostles. Monday morning prayer on page 390. We pray in the name of the most holy and blessed Trinity revealed to us as the creator, the redeemer and the sanctifier of the world. Amen. God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given to us. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Our opening canticle, a song of God's marvellous acts. I will sing a new hymn to my God. O Lord, you are great and marvellous. You are marvellous in your strength, invincible. Let the whole creation serve you, for you spoke and all things came to be. You sent out your spirit and it formed them. No one can resist your voice. Mountains and seas are stirred to their depths. Rocks melt like wax at your presence. But to those who revere you, you still show mercy. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. Our psalms this morning, as I said, are Psalms 108 and portion of Psalm 109. Psalm 108, found on page 340. My heart is fixed, O God, my heart is fixed. I will sing and make melody. Awake my soul, awake lute and harp, for I will awake in the morning. I will give you thanks, O Lord, among the peoples, I will sing your praise among the nations, for the greatness of your mercy reaches to the heavens and your faithfulness to the clouds. Be exalted, O God, above the heavens, and let your glory be over all the earth, that those whom you love may be delivered. O save us by your right hand and answer me. God has said in his holy place, I will exalt and divide Shechem, I will parcel out the valley of Succoth. Gilead is mine and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet and Judah my rod of command. 
Moab is my washbowl, over Edom will I cast my shoe, against Philistia will I shout in triumph. Who will lead me into the fortified city? Who will bring me into Edom? Have you not cast us off, O God? Will you go, you go not out with our armies? Give us your help against the enemy, for human help is vain. By the power of our God, we shall do valiantly, for it is he that will tread down our enemies. And Psalm 109, starting at verse 20 and reading to the end. Psalm 109. Act for me, O Lord, my God, for your name's sake, and deliver me as your steadfast love is good. For I am poor and needy, and my heart writhes within me. I fade like a lengthening shadow. I am shaken off like a locust. My knees are weak from fasting. My flesh grows lean and shrunken. I have become the scorn of my enemies, and when they see me, they toss their heads in derision. Help me, O Lord, my God, and save me for your mercy's sake, that all may know it was your hand, that you, O Lord, have done it. Though they curse, yet give me your blessing, and those that come against me will be put to shame, and your servant shall rejoice. Let those that oppose me be covered with disgrace. Let them wear their shame as a garment. And I will give the Lord great thanks with my mouth and praise him in the midst of a multitude. For the Lord will stand at the right hand of the poor to save them from those that would condemn them. Creator, Spirit, Advocate, promised by our Lord Jesus, increase our faith and help us to walk in the light of your presence to the glory of God the Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 15, beginning at the 36th verse. After some days, Paul said to Barnabas, Come, let us return and visit the believers in every city where we proclaim the word of the Lord and see how they are doing. Barnabas wanted to take with them John, called Mark, but Paul decided not to take with them one who had departed them in Pamphylia and who had not accompanied them in their work. The disagreement became so sharp that they parted company. Barnabas took Mark with him and sailed away to Cyprus. But Paul chose Silas and set out, the and set out, the believers commending him to the grace of God. He went through Syria and Cilicia, strengthening the churches. Paul also went on to Derby and to Lystra, where there was a disciple named Timothy, the son of a Jewish woman who was a believer, but his father was a Greek. He was well spoken of by the believers in Lystra and Iconium. Paul wanted Timothy to accompany him, and he took him and had him circumcised because of the Jews who were in those places, for they all knew that his father was a Greek. As they went from town to town, they delivered to them the observe for observance, the decisions that had been reached by the apostles and elders who were in Jerusalem. So the churches were strengthened in the faith and increased in numbers daily. They went through the region of Phrygia and Galatia, having been forbidden by the Holy Spirit to speak the word in Asia. When they had come, when they had come opposite Mysia, they attempted to go into Bithynia, but the Spirit of Jesus did not allow them. So passing by Mysia, they went down to Troas. During the night, Paul had a vision. There stood a man of Macedonia pleading with him and saying, Come over to Macedonia and help us. When he had seen the vision, we immediately tried to cross over to Macedonia, being convinced that God had called us to proclaim the good news to them. May your word live in us and bear much fruit to your glory. Our canticle, a song of Isaiah. Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and will not be afraid. For the Lord God is my strength and my song and has become my salvation. 
With joy you will draw water from the wells of salvation. On that day you will say, Give thanks to the Lord, call upon his name, make known his deeds among the nations, proclaim that his name is exalted. Sing God's praises, who has triumphed gloriously. Let this be known in all the world. Shout and sing for joy, you that dwell in Zion, for great in your midst is the Holy One of Israel. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And we pray, giving thanks for the martyrs of the church. Almighty God, by whose grace and power your holy martyrs in the 20th century triumphed over suffering and were faithful even to death, grant that we who now remember them in thanksgiving may be so faithful in our witness to you in this world that we may receive with them the crown of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, for ever and ever. Amen. The response to give thanks to the Lord is call upon his name. Lord, it is you who comes when we cry out in storm-tossed moments. Reach out to your church when sight of the strong wind brings fear. Open our ears to hear you say, take heart. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Lord, it is you who sends your disciples to cross the lake. Be with all who travel by land, sea and air for holidays, business and missions of mercy. Direct those who guard our safety. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Lord, it is you who went up the mountain to pray alone. Come to us in the still moments to refresh, revive and reignite the fire of living. Increase in us thanksgiving for your saving mercy. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Lord, it is you who reaches out to us when we cry, Lord, save me. Catch all who are falling in their frailty. Everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Lord, it is you who appears in the early morning on the water and later in the garden. Bring all who have died to delight in the sound of your voice. With the whole host of heaven, we worship your holy name. Give thanks to the Lord. Call upon his name. Eternal God and Father, by whose power we are created and by whose love we are redeemed, guide and strengthen us by your Spirit that we may give ourselves to your service and live this day in love to one another and to you, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and also with you. Let us praise the Lord. Thanks be to God. God did not give us a spirit of cowardice, but a spirit of power and of love and of self-discipline. May we rekindle the gift of God within us. Amen.